Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be testing ESET Internet Security version 11. As far as UIs go, this is a very clean and professional user interface, very easy to use. Things are well organized, you can find everything you want in pretty much one click. Now I'm not going to go too much in depth with these settings because most of this stuff is uh, kind of similar to what we've seen in previous versions. I will however show you the key things. So we have intrusion prevention system for the host, self-defense, exploit blocker, and a ransomware shield now. So that's interesting. They still have the different filtering modes like automatic, smart, interactive, and policy-based. Although we may not get much of that because once again, ESET is a company that is very good with its signatures as well. So I'm going to first show you that it is up to date and then we will go ahead and start our test. Here we have some malware links. As you can see, we'll try them out and see if he said can protect us. Now I got all of these links a few hours ago, so they should be fairly new. The first one is immediately blocked by the web filter, so that's good to see. So is the second one. The alert system seems to be very similar to the previous version. Huh, so the third one is actually downloading, so that went past the web filter. Let's see if the real-time protection gets it. And that is an incredibly slow download. And ironically, the file name is drop.exe. All right, after an eternity of waiting, we're almost there. Let's see if the file can run. Interesting, so it did execute. and is currently in memory. We will go ahead and see how it affects the system. And if not, we are going to find out at the end if it left any permanent traces. But let's move on and continue with our link test. This URL is blocked once again. This one as well. Another one bites the dust, and the last URL. Is also blocked. So there we have it, a pretty decent link test, although we did have that one file which executed. I'm not entirely sure if it is malware or not, but we'll figure that out. But before that, let's go ahead and grab our files. We have 1047 items in here. Most of these are malware. There might be ransomware in here, PUPs, all sorts of stuff. We're going to do a regular right-click context menu scan with ESET and see what it can detect. Okay, so the scan is still running, but there were a few minor things that I wanted to point out. So first of all, for some reason, it seems the threats found thing on the home screen does not update. But if we open the scan window itself, then you can see, well, this number here is very different from this number over here. If they're showing it, they should also update it in real time to avoid any kind of confusion because for a long time I just thought that the scan wasn't working, which is weird. Another thing, it doesn't even seem to update in the scan window. So even if the scan window is here and it's open, sometimes it just does not update this number. It just stays there until you close it and reopen it. Let's do that right now. As you can see, things are happening here, but this number is not changing. But if I close it and reopen it, boom, it changes. So I just think for a product at this level, these minor UI kind of things should not be there. Like, it should be more polished. Of course, it's not a major issue, but I just thought I should point it out. The scan is done, so we're going to delete all the threats that were detected. It did take quite a while. It seems to be one of the slower scans. 
as compared to some of the other products I've tested in the past. I have definitely seen worse, but most products do it a little bit faster. But then again, that could just be because the scan is more in-depth. There are a lot of factors to consider. Although the scans took a really long time, it seems they've done an amazing job because we only have 37 items left over here now, which translates to a detection ratio of 96.5%. And that is a very impressive detection for these files. These are, what, about a few days to a week old? But keep in mind, that's not where our test ends. We still have to run these files and see if ESET can still protect us against unknown threats. So let's go ahead with that. ESET does usually work in the background and not provide too many alerts. So I'm not very surprised that we haven't gotten any so far. I'm hoping though that the host intrusion prevention system rules in the background will prevent any kind of malicious payload from activating. It will be kind of difficult to tell as we're going along, but it should be um, apparent in the second opinion scans that we'll do at the end. Keep in mind we also had a file execute in the uh, link test. So we'll be seeing if that made any permanent changes. Seems like we have some false positives in here. There isn't a lot to run since Lisa did do a pretty good job, but we're gonna stop here. And now I'll let the system run for some time and then do our second opinion scans after a reboot and that'll lead us right to the conclusion. The second opinion scan results are here. Hitman Pro detected the temporary remnant of the drop.exe file, but it didn't pick up anything else on the system, which kind of suggests that this file didn't really do anything. If we take a look at the um, file itself, the size is kind of large for typical Trojans. It is detected by Kaspersky though, which is interesting, but it could just be a false alert or it could be a broken downloader or something like that. Either way, it didn't really do anything on the system, so I wouldn't really count it as an infection. Zamana reports a host file modification. Now this not necessarily is related to malware. It could also be related to piracy or illegal software. It could be some patching program that just ran. Um, illegal software is also picked up by most AV vendors. So that could also be the case here. Um, again, I do hate that kind of stuff. Although looking at the modification itself, it, it could also be um, associated with some kind of redirect. Either way, um, there's no other malware linked to it, so very minor stuff. Pretty much no threats on the system, I'd say. And an overall great result for ESAT. Now, there were a couple of hiccups. I didn't exactly like the scan process. It, it took a really long time. The removal was a bit slow, even when I selected the delete option. Other than that, and the minor UI things that could be dealt with with the hotfix, I think it did quite well. Definitely one of the top tier products. is very efficient when it comes to resource usage. Very simple, easy to use, automatic, you can run it anywhere. And it's, it's, it's got quite a lot of features too, so it's quite powerful. All in all, a great product, definitely something to consider. That's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.